You've heard of being in the doghouse. What about being in the lion's den? Jason Azapardi finds himself here often with his lion, Leo. Leo is not alone. Here in Jason's backyard, just outside Amarillo, lives a jaguar, a cougar, and two tigers. It's like having my dog, you know, it's, it's no different for me. When Jason, who's now 18, was just a kid, other kids would call him the boy in the jungle book. He was indeed raised among the animals. A lot of the cubs, we, we would take them inside, uh, bottle feed them, and I'd always pick a couple, and they would always stay in my room with me or sleep in my bed with me. Just like a dog, says Jason. Jason owns five of them, who, by the way, get along with the animals like cats and dogs. The dogs usually keep a safe distance. Not Jason. The boy who once slept with these animals now plays with them. First, you got to kind of fill out how they're acting, and then, I don't know, sometimes it's, it's fun, but sometimes it scares you. They can only scare you sometimes. Jason says he's only been hurt a few times, once when he was knocked over by one of the cats, and another time a lion clawed his leg, but nothing serious, he says. Now, if the idea of having these animals outside a zoo makes you nervous, first of all, the Azapartis have all the permits they need. Plus, they have state inspections to check out the cages and the living conditions to make sure that the animals are safe, and you are too. The Azapartis also have the animals fenced off with perimeter alarms. They plan on expanding the cage area and giving the cats a more natural habitat. After all, the Azapartis' home is undergoing construction, and since Leo and the other cats are part of the family, they deserve a new home, too. Mary Nelson, News Channel 10, Nightcast.